Good morning, everyone. After Guinevere uh, showed her wonderful video of citrus seedlings, I thought I'd share some of my indoor citrus. I have two different types. And the first one is from a friend. This is a Ponderosa lemon. It was grown from a cutting, and I added some cuttings of jade plant, which grew huge because of all the fertilizer I used uh, for the citrus. Anyhow, all this growth is new, and it's very happy. It bloomed for me even this year, and I can't wait to be able to put it outside again. But during the winter, it does okay. And then, let's look at these guys. These are pomelo seedlings that I started almost one year ago, and I had them in such a small container that they didn't really grow until I repotted them this fall. And you can see that they're really taken off. And I had, I think, five seeds, and I got rid of two. Like Guinevere said, always save a couple for a backup plan. And you can also see this mix that I use. I write about this all the time. It's perlite, screened fir bark, like orchid bark, and then a uh, expanded clay, baked clay material called turfus. Uh, used for baseball fields, golf courses, things like that. Turf applications. Anyhow, it holds a lot of moisture. It doesn't collapse. Virtually no fungus gnats you'll ever see. Superior drainage, superior root health. Really healthy looking green plants. And you can see I have a pretty good collection of house plants. You know, Hoyas that I've rooted, jades, portulacaria afras all sorts of jades growing in this pure bark perlite turfus mix this is actually the uh, Joshua Green orchid named after me hybridized by my grandfather and I'm finally growing this thing hopefully it'll bloom and last thing for today check this little guy out this is a blooming jade Crassula ovata with nice little pink flowers Second year it's bloomed for me. Anyhow, that's all for today.